What is going on with Ryan Zinke? This dude is he's like having like a rolling meltdown. Now, and, and uh, Ben Dixon and I are going to talk about this more, but uh, th- there seems to be like a wholesale just sort of like cleaning out of the administration. It's not like they, uh, you know, God knows the quality of the people they're going to get in. I mean, as much as, as despicable as Gary Cohn was, uh, Larry Kudlow is not an upgrade, folks. Here's Ryan Zinke. He's at the House National Resources Committee uh, Thursday hearing. Uh, the other day we played a clip where he was getting wholly and in, righteously indignant over having to explain why he was taking a private jet to Las Vegas. Never actually explained it, but he was certainly insulted. And here is um, Representative Hanabusa of Hawaii. She is talking about the uh, the National Park Service program that gives grants towards the preservation of Japanese American confinement camps. Right, this is a real um, black mark on our history, and um, we're not talking about a huge amount of money. Hanabusa is explaining why what, what the importance of it to her, but also to uh, Americans of Japanese descent. And um, Ryan Zinke, I guess, I don't know. Wait till he, his response. I guess he's trying to sort of say, like, I feel you. But here it is. I didn't find out about the fact that my grandfather was interned on Oahu for, the, for a lot of the wartime until he was 80-something years old because they didn't speak about it. And that's been the problem that many face. The Japanese-Americans who served in World War II, as you know, probably the most decorated unit till to date in the history of the military, in the 100th and the 442nd, as well as those who were interned, just did not speak about it. My grandfather was born in Hawaii, and uh, in essence a citizen by birth, though we were a territory then, and he did not speak about it. This president's budget zeroes out what is, I think, a, a, a really nominal amount compared to your whole budget. It's about $2 million. But what it does do is eliminates the grant program that have at least kept various institutions throughout the United States who are trying to keep this history alive. Because I believe that it is essential that we as a nation recognize our darkest moments so that we don't have them repeat again. So, Mr. Secretary, I'd like to know, even with the president zeroing it out, are you committed to continue the grant programs that are identified, I believe, as the Japanese American Confinement Sites Grants Program, which were funded in 2017? Will we see it funded again in 2018? Oh, konnichiwa. Uh, <laughs> I think it's still ohayo gozaimasu, but that's okay. I guess it's after 10. Uh, what did he say? What was the last thing he said? Oh, my God. What is wrong with this guy? I guess it's after 10. Uh, I guess it's after 10. Oh, my God. Uh, I mean, just... He, that's his attempt to sort of, I guess, say like, oh, I, I speak Japanese. So it's OK that I cut this, uh, the funding for the Japanese American internment camp museums, essentially. I'm going to make this about me. Unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, we can go back and forth about how important uh, microaggressions actually are, but I feel like in this context, they definitely matter. I mean, it's not even so much that it's a microaggression. It is just like this guy thinks that he gets the point of what she's saying and doesn't get the point of it. I mean, can you just imagine, you know, saying like, look, you shouldn't um, you shouldn't uh, cut the funding for a uh, doc how so that people can go and see how problem it is. And the person just responds with, Oi, vey, you're right. <laughs> just like, just, I mean, yeah, I didn't quite get it. Zinky. Yeah. I have the bona fides to shut this down because 
I know that you say uh, you don't say konnichiwa after 10 a.m. 